Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And the agency killed him. Set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whistle in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city. All right. All right. Called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your father. Who is this? How do you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life, we can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take you back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, Grim. Just like the old days, Anne. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there's civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help, Sam. Let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. Tapping into the Z's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? Like the dark, it's scary. Turn the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. 
I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Tell you what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now. Okay, he's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I will. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You think you're badass? <coughs> you think you're badass? <coughs> Come on, show yourself, fucker! We know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. Show yourself, asshole! Show me what you got! Come here, chicken shit! That's Jesus Christ! Come out and show yourself, fuckface! You don't want to fight me for sure, asshole! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metal and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Baby, don't look. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Yeah. Oh, there you are. They brought... ...some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? Shit. This special guy's smart. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market, blew up with thumbs on our asses. Not him. Back's all blocked off. He's got him through. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell's he hiding anyway? Jewelry's the maybe? Nah, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Come here, you asshole! A thousand bucks for the go, kill Fisher! We're not going to let go! Leave the target, you asshole! You gotta kill him! Do this. I'm out of here.
Looking for me, asshole. No playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing! Okay, enough. You wanna know who sent me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs. Guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Don't! He drove the car that hit your father. Used to brag about it, you know? Huh? Heard you were coming, so he hired me to to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards up front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty and Malta ran through that mansion. Coven's whole operation was bait there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys holding automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coven was in there. And then he might know something of what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. God, it's the last one. That's if we get him out of here. Holy shit! It's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? 
He eats them like candy. He probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean the list. You wrote it all down on the side of a freaking ammo box. Big deal. What be asking for this time? Everything, I think. Blow, oxy, cunt, and shit. Are those horse drinks? What the fuck, man? You've been tripping on meds. Whoa, oh, man! What the fuck? Man, you see that list of McCobin? Fuck! Fuck, man! Fuck, man! What the? He's gonna be over there, man! Stay sharp, it's gotta be somewhere nearby. 